to a place called Have You Loved Something? It's about books and my passion for books. And it's about disappearing. The disappearing of, as, of books as objects and the disappearance of people basing the writing in Bolaño and Rulfo and Alejandra Pizarnik and some other people that are very dense and, and using this theme of disappearance that it's happened um, a lot in my homeland, and it's Mexico, then the idea of working it with puppets and making it more visual and having all these paper puppets and having all these paper things coming out and the pop-ups and all this that it was my childhood to the pop-ups, the books, uh, just makes sense. The writing is coming first and in the middle, because I haven't finished, it's, I just have a first draft, in the middle I started doing the puppets. My next step is keep on working with the play, but I'm going to start workshop, making workshops a lot more intensive in looking of ways, different ways of doing paper puppets. I I think that I start writing because of two major, three major things. Uh, one, the notes that I do off the books that I read because I love literature. Then my dreams as uh, easy because I have a lot of dreams so I start writing my dreams a lot as a therapy or as a, trying to understand what was going on at night because of my insomnia and my dreaming. And then I start writing this project because I needed to have a project of my own. I write in Spanish. I, I realized that was the way that it was easier for me to write it was in Spanish. And I translate it in English. It's been a very interesting process because I find sometimes in certain concept, concepts that it's very difficult to say it in English or Sometimes it's more interesting in English than in Spanish, or it, it's like completely different ways of seeing the world and even the words and the way you say things or the way you explain things. 